Hey Amen. Thank you. Uh, it's an honor to be up here. Thank you, Pastor Menez, for allowing me to do this. Um, I'm going to read real quick uh, Jeremiah 16, 16. You don't have to turn there right now. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to preach in front of these people. God, may uh, your Holy Spirit come upon me and fill me with the right words to say to edify these people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 So, I'm sure you've heard a bunch of sermons about uh, fishing for men. Uh, I'm from Arkansas originally. I really like hunting, so I'm going to talk about hunting for souls, hunting for men. Amen. All right? A little bit different here. So, uh, the title of my sermon is, How Long do you go hunting? How long do you go hunting? Turn in your Bibles to 2 Timothy 2. Go to the New Testament, find the T books. You're going to run into 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, and 1 and 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy 2. While you're turning there, I'll tell you where this story comes from, where this sermon comes from. I was about 13, 14 years old, and I was complaining to my Uncle Billy. I said, you know, I'm, I'm not killing any deer this year. And he said, well, boy... How long do you spend in the woods hunting? And I said, well, I'm, I'm in school, I'm working. Uh, I only get to hunt about two hours on the weekends. And he says, well, you can't, you can't kill any deer unless you see some deer, and you can't see some deer unless you're in the woods. And uh, all these years later, I never would have thought that I'd thought about this, and it applies to soul winning. You know, you can't, you can't complain about not winning any souls. If you ain't in the woods, if you ain't out on the highways and the hedges, yeah, hunting for good. those souls, okay? Yeah. That's right. All right? right. You know, um, look, down, look down at your Bible there in uh, 2 Timothy 2. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You know, the reason I bring this up is, do you know how to hunt? You know, I, to, I, I realize I'm in... California, and y'all can't even own guns here. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm talking about is you know how to hunt for souls. You know, if you don't know how to go hunting, you better not try to take a shot. You better not try to get a deer in your aim and, and miss. What you're going to do is you're going to end up maybe wounding it, running it off. It's never going to come back. And, and what, what I'm getting at is if you don't know how to win souls, you better not go out there. This ain't a game. People's Amen. souls. That's right. People's Amen. souls is not a joke around right. here. Amen. If you're in this church. There is no excuse for you not to know how to go soul winning. All right? There's only That's two right. reasons. And the, the first one I'm going to group together, you're either a new believer or new to soul winning. And by that, I mean you're new to this movement and you don't know how to soul win yet. This church will train you up. This verse right here, study to show thyself approved, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of uh, truth. The second reason is you're straight up lazy. All right? That's right. You're either lazy or you're a new believer or you're new to soul winning. That's the only excuse out there. And, you know, it's a shame when a hunter takes a shot and he misses that deer. It ought to be a shame if you try to give the gospel to someone and you fall on your face because you don't know what you're doing. This ain't a joke. Amen. Turn in your Bibles to Hebrews 4, please. Thank you. Hebrews 4. Hebrews 4. My second point is what weapon are you taking hunting? Listen, nobody carries a BB gun in the woods killing deer. All right? Nobody carries going soul winning that Red Rider NIV BB gun. That's right. Nobody carries a Colt 1911 ESB soul winning. We carry the 1611 preserved Word of God King James Bible. Look down at your Bibles at uh, Hebrews 4:12. For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. What weapon are you taking soul in? Amen. There's only Come on. one weapon. That's the King James Bible. Amen. 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 My third point, and I'm going, I'm going pretty fast here, but I get fired up about this. You know, I mean, soul winning, this is the staple of what we do. It's why the church right. is as big Amen. as it is right now. You know, yeah, right. everybody comes from different walks of life here. You know, and you may have found Pastor Anderson, Pastor Jimenez in your own way. But, but you, this church is reaching more souls than you could ever imagine. That's right. My third point is, uh, what are you wearing when you go hunting? All right. You know, a hunter... They don't wake up in the morning and say, oh, it's like 15 degrees outside and it's snowing. They're just going to put on a, a t-shirt. 
and uh, and no pants. I'm just gonna go out there and hump with no pants on. My third point, and I don't, you don't have to turn there, but uh, <laughs> Ephesians 6, 13 through 17, this ought to be a real famous verse. You can turn there if you want, I don't care. There's a bunch of quick turners in here, you're used to that. This is the armor of God. Verse 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. And, you know, we heard a pretty powerful sermon this morning about uh, about standing, didn't we? There's a yeah. God sent up here talking about standing. Amen. Okay? Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with the truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith wherewith ye stand and be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. So my question is, what are you wearing when you go hunting? You know, if you don't put on the whole armor of God, that's where the devil's going to hit you with those fiery darts. Yeah, that's right. You know, if you don't if you don't put on if you don't have the helmet of salvation, we're doing out soul winning anyways. Yeah. You know, yeah. if uh, if you don't have the sword of the spirit, what are you what are you going to fight with? Yeah. You know what yeah. what are you going we don't and we we don't kill souls. We we get souls quick and we get them alive. You know, so I understand that this hunting isn't a, a perfect analogy here. But, you know, what are you going to do your fighting with? An ESV, a butter knife, a BB, that Red Rider BB gun? <laughs> no, you're going to take that 1611 King James Version Amen. out so winning. Amen. Turn to Acts 5. Turn to Acts 5, if you would, please. I, just, I was you just see, there. You don't have on the whole arm of God. <laughs> I flipped to it, and I flipped again. You're not going to stand, <laughs> doing, all, doing all to stand. When somebody yells at you, when somebody calls you every four-letter word that you can think of, when they cuss you out, when they slam that door in your face, are you going to be able to stand or are you just going to get uh, get sad and fall down and, yeah. and fail, be a failure? It's only because you ain't got your whole armor of God on. So uh, I had you turn there in Acts chapter 5. My, my fourth point is how long do you go hunting? That's the name of this sermon. How long do you go hunting? Acts chapter 5, verse 42. And daily. I said daily in the yeah. temple and in every house. They cease not to teach and preach. Jesus Christ. Amen. Every day, if you're alone with somebody, you have the opportunity to give them the gospel. Right. Yeah. Every day, the temple, the, your work, yep. house to house, right. there, you know, there isn't a limit on how many times you can go soul winning. Don't you know, talk to pastor, I'm pretty sure he'd be happy that you go soul winning when it ain't a posted soul winning time. All right. All right? You know, it says daily in the temple. You know, if, if you're one of those people who <laughs> go hunting or go soul winning for 59 minutes and 59 seconds once a week, don't you dare complain about not winning a soul to the Lord. That's How right. long do you go hunting? Yeah. You, okay. you can't right. win a soul if you ain't out, up, out there in the highways and the hedges trying to win a soul. You ain't going right. to win a soul sitting on your butt watching YouTubes, listening to sermons that's about right. people who go out soul winning yeah. and yeah. think that's soul winning. Yeah. You know, I don't watch the hunting channel and think, man, I'm really getting a good hunt in right yeah. now. You know? right. I don't live vicariously through this guy who just killed a massive buck. Yeah. I don't live vicariously through Pastor Menez who's getting hundreds of people saved each year by his own ministry, you know, let alone this church. You know what? I get up, I get out there and I do the work too. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. You know, I, I realize that this is just a, a parallel, you know, uh, hunting and so on. It don't, it don't work in every way. Uh, that was my final point, but I'll, I'll end with this. You know, uh, you got to be glad that this parallel doesn't work in every way. Like, uh, there ain't no soul winning season. You ain't got to wait for, you ain't got to wait for a soul hunting season to open up. You know, and you got to be glad. That there ain't no permit that you have to buy. Right, Jesus yeah. Christ's blood paid for that soul winning permit that you have here. Amen, right? you brother. Out there, you're not doing anything for Jesus. That blood that he shed is so you can get out there and win those souls yeah. to the Lord. Right. Amen, brother. You know, uh, we ought to be glad that we don't have a stinking tag limit on soul. <laughs> you know, I live in Washington. You get one deer a year. What's, I mean, there's people like that with soul in it. I went out for, for 15 minutes and luckily I just got, I got the first person I talked to say, I can go home for the day. I got to stand out this 105 degree weather. No, you're a fool. Go out there and win three, right. four souls in a day. Why not? There is no tag limit on it. That's right. right. You know, uh, we ought to, we ought to thank, thank God that we have the opportunity to go soul hunting right now in this country. It's not taken away from us. That's right. 
how long do you go hunting? Let's bow our heads and have a word of prayer. Dear God, uh, thank you for, for using me to preach this message. I pray that uh, I edified some people this evening and that uh, they, they do take to heart and, and remember this analogy and go hunting for souls more than just 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Dear God, we, we pray that uh, you bless the rest of the men that stand up here and, and preach your word and that they edify the rest of this, the rest of this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.